Something I notice a lot of people have problems with while vibe coding is vibe coding their front ends. The reason why is because it often just looks like AI generated slop. Well, I'm about to show you the way that I use in order to make my AI generated front ends look beautiful. So let's get right into it right now. First things first, I have Claude code open here and I have a project which is just the Next.js boilerplate by Vercel. The link is in the description there. Along with that, we have a video talking about how to debug your vibe coded apps. The link to that will be in the description. If you're trying to follow along and at any point you run into any issues, go ahead, watch that video, fix it, get back to this one right here. So we have this and there is quite literally nothing here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by installing the ShadCN MCP server. So ShadCN is basically like a really great component library. That's all I'm gonna to do to describe it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this command in at my folder and it is going to install the ShadCN MCP. And along with that, I have something open right here called TweakCN. We're gonna get back to that in just a minute. Okay, now this MCP was done. So I'm gonna go ahead and run Claude code. New MCP server found, wonderful. All right, we have that right here. And now I am going to craft my prompt. All right, so all I'm saying here is, can you make the homepage a dashboard, which is a Twitter clone? Only use ShadCN blocks to make this whole thing. Use the ShadCN MCP. Very simple prompt here. I've just been very deliberate with saying use ShadCN blocks and use the MCP. So using ShadCN alone is going to make everything look better, but I use blocks because ShadCN has components and they have blocks. So if we go over here, we can see all of these components, button, calendar, card, all of this stuff. And while AI can actually make some pretty good UI using these, and it's going to have to, I like to tell it to use blocks to start. So if we look over here, we can see what these blocks are. It's basically complete UIs ready to go. I just find this leads to the AI output creating a much more human-like design than if I just tell it to straight up use ShadCN and nothing else. So anyways, I'm gonna set this in plan mode and we're gonna run my prompt. All right, so it's just made its plan here and the plan looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and tell it to continue. Now, one thing that I am gonna say as well is it's saying let's use blue accent colors and hover effects and stuff like that. I'm gonna say just use the default Shad CN styling because we're gonna to go to tweak CN and make it look even better after. All right, so your Twitter dashboard clone is now ready. It looks horrible, but this happens every single time I start a project like this and maybe someone here knows how to resolve it or well, how to stop it from happening. I know how to resolve it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it know it forgot the tailwind configuration file. That is like 99% of the time why it looks like this. So let me just do that now. All right, take a look at that. This is our one shot UI. These tabs look kind of funky, but other than that, this looks great. Trending looks great. Who to follow looks great. The feed looks great. Does this do anything? Okay, that doesn't do anything. If I click here, add an existing account, log out. One shot, we already have a really good looking UI. Now I'm about to show you two things. The first one is how I'm gonna make this not just look like uh, everything else, black and white. So I'm gonna use Squeak CN for that. And then after that, I am going to just fine tune it a little bit. Like these tabs obviously don't look good whatsoever. So we're gonna fix that. Let's do it right now. First things first, Tweak CN. So Tweak CN link is in the description. It is amazing. First of all, it has 42 themes just preloaded, ready to use. We're gonna use one of these today. That being said, you can fully customize the theme in any way you want. You can create a new theme. I'm just gonna click shuffle until we find one that looks nice. This one's a bit more Twitter-like, modern minimal. So let's go ahead and use that. They actually do have a Twitter one, but whatever. I'm just gonna use this for now. So. What I find the best way to install these is, is I just click code up here and then we have this. So I'm using Tailwind V4. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And I'm just gonna say to Claude, can you use this tweak CN theme? Paste it in and there we go. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to wait. All right, so this immediately looks so much better. I have to say I am already absolutely loving this UI. Now we have two things that I wanna fix here because if I look around really, this just all looks great. This looks really nice. I have nothing else to say, but there are two things that just are bad. And this is gonna happen pretty much every single time you do 
front end with AI. There's going to be a couple things because it doesn't have eyes. If you can believe that, AI doesn't have eyeballs. First things first, if I zoom in over here, this text box is like this. It's like right along the edges. And along with that, like I said, this tab is just off. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Now, I'm not only going to rely on the screenshot. I'm also going to describe what it looks like. All right, so the tab active state looks weird. Is this how the normal Shadcn tabs are supposed to look? Also, the placeholder in the text area is touching the border. Can we fix these two things? All right, so it says it fixed it and the text area is definitely fixed. So that looks good. Good job, Claude. But the border here on the tab menu is still a little bit weird. I'm gonna take another screenshot of that and I'm gonna let it know. All right, so there we go. I am much more liking how these tabs look than how they looked before. So that is basically my progress. First of all, I use the ShadCN MCP. Second of all, I tell it to use ShadCN blocks instead of just say use ShadCN because then it's gonna use components. As you can see, this is a much more human-like design than if it were to have just used ShadCN components. After that, I'll use TweakCN to get my own theme that looks super nice. And then what I'm gonna do is just go through and find all of those little weird things that don't look as they should and coach the AI directly into fixing them. That is it. As you can see here, we were really quickly able to get quite a nice UI and uh, yeah, that's it. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one.